mean, I guess it's fine, but there's like a better pick probably into Jenna. You don't want to be picking Rakan like this, but I don't know who picked first. Try the other one, the Birdman. Click that that one, that link. That OPGG. Yeah, I have him here. It should be that one. The first one on the top. So that would have been the screenshot. So he would have been blue side. Blue side. Okay, so he did pick after Jana. Which is, it's fine, but I guess if you only play Rakan and Nami. I mean, obviously Nami is better into Jana than Rakan is. And since they have Poppy too, I would... I would pick Nami here. Even if you have Samira, it's still fine. Yeah. There's not enough, like, there's not enough threats on the enemy team where Rakan, like, you're not going to be needing to engage on them. Like, Evelyn has to go onto you, and they're poking anyway, so. You have Nami with Syndra and Belveth, it's fine. It's not really, uh. You can still, like, win on Rakan. Like, he still won, but. It's not like the. It's uh, just the, the better right pick approach. would have been Nami, right? Yeah, it's so not, it's not like it's a bad habit to um to think that Rakan is better here. Just because you won, it doesn't doesn't mean that it's like the right pick. I think a lot of people get that wrong, and then they start struggling in higher elo where they they make the same mistakes and then they just play against better players and lose. Uh, okay, let's talk about the build here. So, like, Glacial's so, fine, right, into that team comp. Okay. Is For my Rakan thoughts? Runes, it, shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be more... It should be more about what your win condition is against their bot lane. Like, I wouldn't take it into their into specific comps because, like... I mean, okay, so in what situations would you take Glacial over Guardian, like, in terms of comps? So first, mm -hmm. like, we have... Evelyn, so basically glacial, you have to hit your your W or ult. So like pre six, you have to hit your W to for this to actually be like a rune. So you wouldn't, you would try to avoid taking it into like dash champions, and if you can't get it off on the first rotation, then it wouldn't be that good. So in this case, they don't have any dashes, so yeah, it's pretty good. But it's mainly just for the lane, because the thing is, if you take guardian here. You usually take Guardian if you're trying to win like a longer trade and you don't need to win purely off the first rotation of spells here. But since you have Samira and they have Aphelios Jenna, you're not gonna be winning like suspended trades. So Glacial is good. But I don't think okay, yeah. So compared to a different game where he goes uh, Guardian. This makes sense. I think the difference between taking Guardian and Glacial is if you're to simplify, you want to take Glacial when when you your two v two against their two v two is stronger, and you can win an all in. And in this case, you do. So it's actually okay taking Glacial here because you do have like a kill for kill threat on them, even level one. If both of you start W, but. Definitely takes more experience to know, like, what trades you win. Yeah. So this game, yeah. I mean, you could take Glacial with Zaya every single time, and it would be fine. But it's just harder into these kind of, like, if so you're not confident enough to, to really punish them level 1, like, you have to punish Zareth lane level 1, or he will, like, slowly chip you out. Looks like he did that this game because, like, you have to play really aggressively because you don't have Guardian, so you will get poked out. Um, so this game, he should have taken Guardian, right? He can, but again, you have Kaisa. You want to be winning. You want Kaisa wants to go in like hard level one, hard level two, and you do still win two v two, so. 
it's just hard. It just looks bad because you have Blitzcrank and like you're gonna get one shot maybe. But if you think about it, like Nyla doesn't Nyla Blitzcrank isn't even the land. Like it's not, it's not strong compared to the other good two v two lands or pairings like uh, uh, like Pike Kaisa like Blitz Draven Thresh Draven uh, Zyra Khan. Like it doesn't match anything. If they pick Blitz and like, if they pick Blitz and Ezreal or like Nila or something like that, then you could still like any lane you pick to respond can still win two v two. It's really awkward when you have to pick Blitz as like a like a a safer pick to like negate something from their team. I don't know why you pick Blitz here, like, in a high yellow game, no one would pick Blitz here. If they see any of these champions, maybe just set, but you don't pick Blitz coming into, like, any of these champions. Especially not Rakan, because it's really hard. Um, okay, for build, this is fine. You can either go Stopwatch or, or Hex, Hex Flash. I like Hex Flash because you can get a lot of, like, you can sneak into the mid bush without being seen by, like, Pixel Ward. When you're trying to roam mid, that's mm -hmm. the only reason. Wait, can you uh, say that again? I like Hex Flash because it allows me to like sneak past uh, like walls where I can evade vision from common ward spots from the enemy. Oh, so, so like river brush so, from like lane side. Yeah, and okay. like flashing from the dragon pit to like the 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 tri brush, right? Yeah, it's also really common. You can also Hex Flash. Um, from like if you're playing on red side if you're like the the kind of lane area next to gromp before you get to lane like you can hex flash over that wall to try to like punish them hitting your tower mm -hmm. i do that a lot on blitzcrank where they don't expect me to just um hex flash over and hook them so that's why i i think hex flash value hex flash is like Kind of the strongest minor rune in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, on the same level as Cosmic. So you have Hex Flash and Cosmic, you're pretty much set. And mm -hmm. then secondary, this is fine. The only time you're not going to be taking this is if they have like insanely hard CC. For example, they have like a Syndra, Poppy, um, Morgana, or Lux, or something like that, where this, the CC is like longer than one second. Okay. Um, or they have like multiple champions at CCU, and you like you you're guaranteed to be CC'd. Instead, you want to take um. You want to take the green tree and go font of life and conditioning. Conditioning. Or, or um, yeah, conditioning. No, not not conditioning. Unflinching. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of people take like bone plating. I think bone plating is fine in certain lanes, but. I think font is really really broken in um if you pair it with glacial because you get like triple the value in a fight triple and the value can... as in like because it's up a lot because glacial extends the duration in which the enemies get affected by font so you have like yeah so like the duration so... increase yeah it does increase by like a lot and if you okay so for example if you have just font without glacial let's say you're taking guardian and you're running like guardian red tree font will only do like 20 healing but with glacial it does like 50 100 healing per fight mm -hmm. even like level one sometimes if you fight properly um i i was actually looking at like korean players on recon mm -hmm. and also if you study like Rakan's ratios, he does have the highest like AP ratios as a support. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason not to take double AP whenever you can. Uh, the only time you would take haste over AP here is if you're against champions where you're relying on your E cooldown to survive. So for example, like Pike, Pike Q is like nine seconds level one. Um, ten. Your your E yeah or ten or something like that. It, but it, it is shorter than your E cooldown. So your E cooldown is like 17 seconds level 1. Um, taking this would re reduce it by like 1 or 2 seconds. So it would make sense if you're playing into like Pike Nautilus Blitz Crank Lane, where your E cooldown actually matters. But against like anything else, like Janna or any Enchanter or any Mage, 
it won't matter. So it would take it would be better to go double adaptive and play for more of your all in on like one rotation rather than playing for multiple rotations. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so here's the thing. Merc Treads is good on Rakan, but only again, like if they have like Syndra if, Poppy if they have or like something a, else. I mean yeah. they do have a Poppy, but Poppy is kind of a bad example. Like Evelyn and Janna. So these champions do have AP and they will like kind of slow you. Oh well, Janna slows you and knocks you up, but you can't like Mercs doesn't do anything against like knockup, only her slow. So it doesn't you you wouldn't take Mercs into Janna just for the sake of the slow the champion. Yeah. So Evelyn also has to charm you and then get like a Q off, which gives you more than enough time to actually not get stunned ever by Evelyn. Mm -hmm. So you're the only reason you're taking this into Evelyn is for twenty five magic resist, in which you could literally just buy like a null magic mantle for way cheaper and more MR. So if you're if you're playing into this like you'd rather buy straight MR and not like Merc Treads. You'd rather buy lucidity boots for for your like cooldowns being shorter. And having flash tuner is more important. So would you have gone lucidity boots this game? Yeah, I, I this purchase three hundred 700 850 maybe if you stay a little bit longer you just get like a merc or like a lucidity boots first back or even here you also don't buy kindle gem as a full item because if you can you always buy um amp tome because again like your ratios are really strong it's like 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent like 100 percent on two abilities so the earlier you you stack ap the stronger you'll be. And okay, I don't think you ever buy Mandate because the champions that excel with Mandate, it doesn't show on, on here, but you have to be constantly proccing Mandate or like slowing enemies to make it a better item than like um, in this game, probably like if you buy Anathemas for Evelyn, she'll get charmed for longer and you'll never get one shot. So you probably want to build tanky after your mythic um especially if you're going shirelias you're really squishy so you should try to build tanky would you still Mandate have is more like an aggressive item that's but like not like super good on rakan right it's not great yeah it's not great on rakan but if you're only it's only like really good if you're super ahead but even then you'd rather build like full ep like a like a rabbit on or something because this doesn't do anything for recon. You don't need extra move speed because you already have dashes. You just need like CDR and straight AP. The the stats you want on recon is tenacity, AP, and tank, and CDR. Everything else doesn't matter. This is why like Shirelli's is really good because it gives you AP, it gives you CDR, and it gives you move speed to help you uh, engage. Let's look at some this game. Looks like every game is going Trellias. Trellias and then it's Zanyas fine, usually. But... Yeah, I mean Zanyas is really strong in Rakan too, if you're not that good at positioning or if you're just newer at Rakan, because if you if you combo correctly, you'll never need to use Zanyas if you have E up because you flash R W. There are, there's stuns, so you don't need to use Hourglass. Like you just disengage back into your team. I don't I don't ever like buying this on Recon because if anything it gets me killed more by letting them like have setup on me when I'm in, in stasis. Mm -hmm. Um if you're against Nautilus or something, like this kind of team comp where you don't need more you don't need more mobility and you don't like you won't have trouble getting onto them pretty much is what i'm saying yeah you would take radiant instead so you can actually like match nautilus nautilus goes radiant or locket so it's better to match the tank especially you don't your team doesn't have a tank you need to go radiant 
the only time I I still go Shrelias into like this kind of team comp is when my team already has two plus tanks. So if my top laner and my jungler are tank champions, then every time I would go Shrelias. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess yeah, the the correct build most games would be um Radiant into either Redemption or Knight's Vow or Anathemas. Obviously buy boots first before Mythic. You don't ever want to like delay your boots. Ninety percent of the time or like eighty percent of the time it would be lucidity, but against certain team comps you'd buy mercs. It's either lucidity or mercs, like nothing else is gonna work on. What do you think about Zeke's? Zeke's is like the worst item in the game. I don't think you should buy it ever. Because if you're buying Zeke's, you're building it for the damage, right? And it's doing AP damage. The, like compared to what you would how much more damage you would do if you were to go like a full AP recon instead, it's way better. Because Zeke's look at the stats it gives, it gives like two hundred health. If you want two fifty mana, you don't need mana recon if you're already going um the mana regen item. Because you're never gonna run Oom um after you finish your mythic. With biscuits too. Gives you like one fifty. If you're not running biscuits, it's fine too. Like you just need your mythic and then you don't have mana problems. Forty five armor, like I guess it's fine, but if you're trying to build armor, then just go frozen heart. If you're if you need Amar, go um Abyssal Mask. But CX, I guess like it it used to be good before they changed it and reworked like the passive where if you mobilize the enemy it that like 10 more damage or something or after you use your ultimate yeah you're like yeah something like that so it used to be like evan shroud but now it's just shit because it doesn't actually do that much damage mm -hmm. even though it's cheap it's like really bad you it's the same price for um knight's vow but knight's vow is just 10 times better because it helps you sustain more even as like an aggressive item knight's vow is always better but if you do want to go damage go like and yeah, he plays for KDA every game. So if you're dying like not that many times a game, you just go like Dark Seal early and then upgrade it to Magi's if you're if you need more damage because Magi's is always going to be more valuable. Or like Cosmic Drive, um, Banshees, something like that, where you get a ton of AP off of it. Should you be the person, like, as Rakan, like, I see him, uh, Bramble Vest. If he's not that tanky, then the value of Bramble isn't great, right? If I mean, you Bramble need, a... like, if you need heal cut, then shouldn't you just go the other item? Yeah. So, the orb? Bramble is good be i mean there's a there's a point in time where like there's this one recon player in, in like challenger who always built thornmail but thornmail wasn't even a good item to begin with and it doesn't like bramble is a good item if you're if they're all autoing you and you're a tank but if you're not a tank it then still makes sense be... five times but like the only time you buy this is if you're if you, your champ doesn't do ap damage so if you're playing like a, t like a, a bruiser tank support, like Pantheon or something, or Cassante or some like weird champion, like Lee Sin, that doesn't do any AP damage, and but you don't want to build damage either, then Bramble is good. But Rakan but, should be going the other one if the team isn't going to build heal cut, right? Yeah. So what I like to do in my games is I actually if. I need to build heal cut like into these five champions. Depending on how early I need it, I, I just build it like first item, like first component. Even before boots, I would just build it like straight up here. Mm -hmm. Because it's always going to be valuable. And Recon functions the same way as Kennen does in, in like solo lanes, where you need to kill them on your first rotation or your second rotation, or they will out trade you. So you need to like. Make sure that you are you're actually cutting down their HP with heal cut early, early on. Like even to Senna, you'd buy it. 
and you don't have to finish it too. Like if you're you just sit on orb the entire game, last item you upgraded to like a Fire, it's really cheap too. You would actually build it into Senna? Yeah, like in the Senna lanes I, I, I rush orb because orb is really, really great. It gives you thirty AP or like forty AP, I forget. Um if and, you can ever yeah. buy AP on Rakan, it's the best stat you can get for lane because your keys will do more damage, your heals will heal for or will shield for more, your W will do more damage, and your passive shield has like ninety percent ratio, so you'll soak more damage. Mm -hmm. So it has like almost a hundred percent efficiency as a stat on Rakan compared to like resistances, which have like seventy percent efficiency. And move speed is also really great, but you don't need it. You also don't need armor because you're not going to be hit. If like if you're into a full AD team, you ult, flash, W, and just get out. And you take like three autos max. But there are certain situations where you do build it. Like if you're against a double AD lane, like Pike Lucian or something, or like Pike plus an ADC. Then you can go um, Tavius. But even against Pike, sometimes you go Mercs because the only way you die into Pike is if you're slowed for too long, if you if you get stunned, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to think about like, okay, why am I going Swifties this game? Because they have like these champions, but think about it like, Swifties doesn't help you if you get CC'd by any of these. Like, these champions all have like six CC abilities combined. Like, Varus has his ult. Bard has his Q and his ult. Wei has has everything. the root and yep. like yeah, everything in his kit slows you. And Amumu has Q and ult, so there's no reason not to go Mercs, because you get hit by one of these abilities and you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, let's look at the Nami games. I don't think Electrocute does anything anymore. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's good if you're, like, playing a lane where you can actually get the damage off and you do win auto Q or, like, auto W auto or yeah. auto E W. But isn't just Aerie just better in general? Yeah, Even if you do the Electrocute damage, like, auto W auto or whatever? Yeah, because the reality is you're never going to use Electrocute out of lane, so... Aerie's always better. No. And you don't ever take Ironball Collection on support. It'll always be either of these two. You can do the search function too. Search for a champion. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. It probably just was a mistake this game. I mean, even with Lucian, like, it doesn't work anymore. With yeah. Point, so. Otherwise, like, the runes are fine. Like, you go Scorch, you go whatever. But, what, like, Transcendence, right? It should have been something else, right? Yeah, because, okay. Nami <laughs> Nami builds so much CDR in her kit. That it doesn't like, look, let's do look anything. Let's look at the amount of CDR, yeah. So, you go Swifties, it's it's okay, because you either Ash. take Swifties or, or Celerity. Right? You take Swift, Swifties or Celerity, because either way, you're going to be ending up with plus 10 CDR. Well, Transcendence only gives you 10, and Lucidity gives you, like, 20. So, it's better to go Lucidity plus Celerity. Like, Ash, if you're taking Swifties for Ash, it doesn't really make sense either. Because if you're getting hit by these Ash, like... Just don't get hit by Ash's Ws, because you can dodge them, I guess. I mean, you can, but it the risk, or the... um. It's not actually like that, that big of a deal. It's not practical on Nami because you're only going to be fist fighting her in lane. Like after lane, you're just like sitting behind your carries and speeding them up and using your spells on them. So you want CDR. The 10 CDR you get from, from Transcendence is like half the value you get from, from Lucidity. And from Lucidity, you also get like summoner cooldowns CDR. So. Um, this is fine. A lot of people go magical footwear. 
either magical footwear biscuits or magical footwear cosmic but i think biscuits is fine biscuits is biscuits is fine if you know you're going to be running low on mana in lane but in this lane like you're not going to be spamming spells onto leona i guess it in low elo it really doesn't matter because like these leonas don't know how to punish correctly so it's more of like a higher elo thing but sometimes you don't need to go biscuits if you're against a volatile lane, because after one rotation, either one side wins or one side loses. Yeah. Would you take the double adaptive rune too? Or would you go Think about Nami, I don't know her right? ratios. Yeah, you have to you have to be like knowing you have to understand that you only go double adaptive if your ratios are over sixty or fifty or sixty percent on average on your champion. Nami's ratios on average are like 30%. So you would not take this. You would go double resist runes. So either MR or magic resist or HP. And you go his every game. At what point does the HP shard outscale the other shard? At level 4. So you only take like armor MR if you're scrapping level 1 to 4. If nothing's happening, the entire lane just go HP. It's it's way better. Um, yeah. So you don't want to build AP on Nami. Like if you can avoid stacking AP, then it's good. Like people, you would be better off building like Anathemas over Rabadons, because it gives you way better stats for Nami. Like all Nami is like, Nami already has a lot of power in her kit, but. At the same time, she doesn't have good ratios. So you you don't need to like empower your you don't you already like your abilities will not get stronger. So you just need CDR and like res resistances. So you don't get you don't get one shot by whoever's on their team. I remember we talked briefly about secondary runes on Nami, like uh, domination and resolve. I just yeah. need a reminder, refresher about the different circumstances that you would go with the other ones instead of, instead of cosmic, or is cosmic just better like all the time? For like, like inspo. Simplify, sorry, yeah, <laughs> cosmic is always gonna be better if you if you're not like a challenger Nami. If you're not a challenger Nami with like at least three hundred games on Nami, then just go uh, inspiration every time, secondary. Because it will be better. Okay. So it's just like the same build for Nami, regardless of like any game, really, then? Yeah, Nami builds the same. Like, you build either Shirelias, or yeah, you always build Shirelias. And then you either build, I don't think Arden's good. You either build Redemption or Crucible. Okay. Either of these two, or you go Anathemas if they have like Evelyn or something. Even with a Vayne and a. Uh... Belveth? You yeah. didn't go Ardent? No, Ardent's the worst item. Worst support item in the game. Okay. It is like it has the worst stats. It does like you would, feel you, you in game gather... a little bit underwhelming when you look yeah. at the stats. You know? It just needs to do it just needs to do more damage on on Sanctify. Like it doesn't do anything. I mean, yeah, you're going to be like wave clearing faster, but you would much rather have staff or redemption like HP. or something. Or, yeah, like something like that. Like you, no one is buying Arden in, in like GM Challenger in any region. So it's just a, yeah, Arden and like Zeke's are the worst two items in the game right now. What do you think about the upgraded trinket, uh, like ward thingy? It's good. Um, like, at what point item. would you like buy it? Basically, when the game is going to be over in like the next fight or two, and you don't don't have enough gold to finish your next full item. So if you're sitting at like one k to two k, and the game's at like twenty to thirty minutes or twenty five to thirty minutes. Um, you buy a ward stone and then you upgrade it if you have enough gold after. 
Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, like, I think I went over pretty much everything. Mm hmm You don't go Helia. Because, again, like, it doesn't... It's one of the worst, the like, the, um... The, the underwhelming mythic item for support. Like, it's at, in the same range as, like, Ardent. And it's just not as good. It doesn't provide that much. I think you would only be going this item with, like, Nami or Sona, but you would go Trellios with both. Um, yeah. Or, yeah, if you're playing aggro, you go Mandate second or first. If you're playing with a mage, go Mandate. If you're playing with, like, an ADC, you go Trellios. To simplify. Yeah, I like this build, but... Um, would you still have gone Thornmill though? No, once you have Frozen Heart, you don't need more armor because the uh, seventy armor after you have ninety armor doesn't it falls off, right? Yeah, it's like sixty percent reduction to like seventy percent reduction, as if from like nothing. If you have like Happies to Frozen Heart, that's like 40% to 70%. So it's just, it, it works the same way as like Haste, where the more you stack, the less beneficial it is for you. So would you have gone same. instead, gone something like Redemption or something? Well, okay. First, I'm not going to need Heal Cut for Lane, and I'm not going to need it for like Briar. It's just, I mean, Briar Lake it maybe, but it's just gonna be for Fiora and Briar. So, if my team has nothing, then I would just go like a Orb. The orb, yeah. Because there's no guarantee that they're actually hitting you, so you won't be able to practice on them. And you shouldn't be like getting hit like that in the first place, right? I mean, yeah, you will be getting hit like inevitably if you're fighting them, but. If they're not the ones hitting you in the fight, let's say you're going all in on like these three, like they are not getting hit. So, if you're fighting with your team, you have to be the one to like be in there. But again, there's still no guarantee that they're going to be applied with previous wounds, unless you have the other item, which once you go in, you always apply it to them. Yeah. And then I would go Radiant this game. Just because, like, mobility wouldn't matter. They're the ones who have to engage on you. They don't play great. Like, you already have a Felios, so you, you just need to survive and have more survivability in, like, a 5v5. Against Braum... If you go uh, trailers, you end up falling off really hard. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So. What's another game here that, if you look, that you would go Radiant? I mean, any game. Any game. Any, every game that my team doesn't have over, doesn't have more than two tanks. Even right. this game, I would go Radiant. Into Yumi, I would go Radiant. Because I just have, like. I just have Zach, but yeah. that's not enough. It's not enough. So, especially, especially in a blitz, you go radiant into like these champions. If any of them tag you, you're gonna get one shot if you don't have radiant. Okay. Okay, I have to eat dinner actually. So. Okie dokie. Thank you. Yeah, of course.